Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and, and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together. Justice, Justice and peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these souls would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Move among us, God. Give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us, in silence, confess our feelings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Amen. Psalm 
So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, and empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. God is good to the upright, to those who are pure in heart. My feet were close to slipping, I almost lost my balance. I had started to envy the arrogant, when I saw how the wicked flourish. They seem to avoid suffering. Their bodies are healthy and sleek. Trouble appears to bypass them. Their lives are free of affliction. They talk with menace and malice, breathing down people's necks. They slander the kingdom of heaven with tongues never silent on earth. Many are taken in by them, believing they do nothing wrong. They say, does God really care? Perhaps the Most High doesn't know. Have I kept myself pure for nothing, washing my hands in innocence? For every new morning brings trouble, and day after day I am punished. Had I thought to do as they do, I would have betrayed my people. So I tried to make sense of this mess, but found it too difficult for me. Once I entered God's sanctuary, then I began to understand. In a moment they will be destroyed on the slippery slope to ruin. My God, I am always with you. You take me by the right hand. Your wisdom continues to guide me, and you will receive me in glory. Because you remember me in heaven, there is nothing I need upon earth. Though flesh and spirit may fail, God is my strength forever. God is good to the upright, to those who are pure in heart. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, starting to read at verse 42. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognise as their rulers lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. Instead, whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. For the word of God in scripture and other wellsprings of nourishment, 
for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. When the wheel of fate is turning And the mills of God grind slow When the past seems more attractive Than the future we don't know When our confidence is waning And we lack security Comes the timeless word of Jesus That the truth will set us free Is it war or economics? Is it danger or deceit? Is it unforeseen depression? Fear of failure to compete Have the times which once were changing Led where no one wants to be Shall we live by lies on offer Or the truth that sets us free With real faith there will be doubting And with loss there will be grief No one knows the contradictions Which will exercise belief Against conflict life might bring us God provides no guarantee just this world of hope and healing Know that truth will set you free So dear Jesus, make us willing To our last convenient lives To protect The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. We have emptied it. We have trampled and destroyed and plundered and defiled. Forgive us, Lord. The earth belongs to God and everything in it. We have taken what is not ours. In our arrogance, we have owned and imprisoned and subdued. Forgive us, Lord. The earth is the Lord's. With all its wealth, we have stolen, impoverished, withheld and selfishly grasped what is not ours to hold. Forgive us, Lord. God, claim your earth and everything in it through me. God, claim your earth. In spite of me, God, claim your earth. Amen. On the fourth day of the month, we pray for church renewal, our local Christian communities, 
and new forms of being church. The Iona Community Board and the people and governments of these countries, Algeria, Libya, Morocco, Tunisia and Western Sahara. And this day we pray for members belonging to the family group of Kars, Valerie Allen and Len Gregory, Ruth Burgess, Elizabeth Patterson and Isabel Saal. And members belonging to the family group of Grampian and Tayside, Brian Crosby and Liz Crosby, Jack Laidlaw and Anne, Alan Watt and Anne. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England, North East. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. Ever present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We, we ask not for what, what we want. want but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God is with us. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. Now and always, God, God is, is with us. us.